It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, the 20th day of November. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather turning cold on Sunday. Coldest air so far this season. A cold front comes through tomorrow. What about the chance of rain with that front? What about Thanksgiving week? Let's go in there and discuss things. Pretty simple today. A nice dry air mass in place across the uh, deep south. A trough to the north will be sharpening up in coming days, pulling down that cold air Sunday. We are starting off this day mostly in the 40s, although Fort Payne is at 37. Birmingham at 45. We'll expect a high in the low to mid-60s today. But yeah, look at the cold air lurking in parts of western and central Canada. It's nosing down into the Dakotas. And we'll start to feel that Saturday night and Sunday morning. And hey, hey, up north, how about winter storm warnings in effect? For much of Iowa, over to Chicago and Milwaukee. It's going to be a pretty big snow, a big November snow for our friends there. Again, this is uh, data coming from the Weather Service forecast offices, and they've got 10 inches of snow in areas really close to Racine, Wisconsin, Chicago, Illinois. Seven and eight, nine, ten 10-inch amounts over Iowa and parts of Michigan as well. So if you're traveling up there, beware. But down here, things are quiet for the next seven days. This is the rain through Wednesday morning of next week, really showing nothing for the state. And we are going to mention a chance of isolated showers tomorrow with the front, but obviously no big deal. And what do we have here? How about a late season tropical storm in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Mexico? Tropical storm Rick. It's a minimal storm. Top winds 40 miles an hour. But you know what's going to happen when this thing dies? Some of the moisture could be pulled up into the south central U.S. next week, as you'll see. But let's walk you through this on a daily basis. This is today at noon off the GFS, the 06Z run at 500 millibars. Troughing to the north, a dry air mass, a beautiful day. Blue sky, sunshine, mid-60s. Could not be better. Tonight will be clear and cool, and we note that surface low moving into Kansas and snow increasing north of that. Tomorrow, the surface low is east of Indianapolis. Big snows for Chicago. And Detroit, Grand Rapids. A trailing front runs down through Little Rock and Austin, Texas. And you can see a little band of showers in advance of that. This is the high-resolution NAM, valid uh, tomorrow at 3 o'clock. And you can see a little batch of showers coming through with the front. So for the uh, football games, both of them, we've got home games at Tuscaloosa and Auburn. But they both kick off at 3 o'clock. We're going to mention just the chance of a shower or a sprinkle for those games, but no big deal. And uh, the high will be, I'd say, low 60s, maybe mid-60s tomorrow. It should be a pretty comfortable day, but don't get used to that because Sunday, here comes that cold air at 1032 millibar high around Dallas-Fort Worth. Winds pick up out of the north, blustery. The high only in the 40s, mid-40s. The GFS is printing a high of 46 for Birmingham on Sunday afternoon, despite sunshine in full force. There's a look at the anomalies, and that's about 20 degrees below average for mid to late November. Monday morning, it's going to be cold. And even Sunday morning, I think we'll see upper 20s. But Monday morning, a good chance we see mid-20s. The GFS is printing 25 at Birmingham. Some of the colder valleys just might make a run at 18 or 19. That is very cold for November, but we're dry. The sky will be sunny. Tuesday, the low will be around freezing, the high in the upper 50s. And this is Wednesday, biggest travel day of the year, Thanksgiving Eve. Got a 1044 high pushing down into Montana. That's probably the biggest issue is that big snow you see there. Uh, Wyoming, Montana, Utah, parts of Idaho. Uh, they can see some really big snow with that storm. But uh, for the East Coast, we're in great shape. Uh, Birmingham to Boston. Should be hard to find a decent cloud in the sky. And for us, the day will be sunny, the high in the low to mid-60s. Maybe a few light rain showers from Dallas-Fort Worth up to uh, Kansas City, but not too much. Thanksgiving Day, we stay dry. Uh, the high will be in the 60s, if this is right. Should be a very nice day. 40s during the morning. Rain's increasing from near Wichita Falls, Texas, up to Kansas City. Des Moines, Madison, Wisconsin, and big snows. Denver. Denver could see a white Thanksgiving into uh, the western part of Nebraska, up into Wyoming. Salt Lake City could see snow on the ground for uh, 
Thanksgiving. But this ridge is going to hold. Let's go to Friday. This is Black Friday, a week from today, the 27th. you got a you got a ridge in place here across the east, a big trough in the western states, and we are still dry at the end of next week. Highs in the 60s, rains continue from Dallas up to Detroit, and still snowing and back in the colder air. And what about Iron Bowl Saturday? Some model runs have looked wet. Some have looked dry. This one looks dry. The rain still stays north and west of the state as the ridge holds. And if this is right, the Iron Bowl would be played under beautiful conditions. And this is why we just don't know yet. It's beyond seven days, the land of voodoo. This could change easily again. But that looks dry and pleasant. And then uh, finally on Sunday, the 29th, that rain moves in here. Temperatures for the next 15 days. Obviously, the coldest air will be Sunday and Monday. Then we warm up nicely with highs back in the 60s for Thanksgiving and the end of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.